Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Maxwell Render Hot Tips, the show that teaches you the little bits and pieces in Maxwell Render that you may not realise. In today's episode I'm going to be looking at how to use the Fire Engine as a render engine in its own right. Now this image is from my recent Studio Lighting Techniques in Maxwell Render series and I'm using it as an example to show the differences between the production render engine in Maxwell Render and the draft engine, otherwise known as the fire engine. Both these images use exactly the same settings and were both allowed to render for 5 minutes. On the left hand side you've got the production engine and as you can see it rendered for 5 minutes, it reached an SL of 8.76 in that time and it had a benchmark of 465.21. On the right hand side you've got the draft render engine. This ran over time slightly, it actually took 5 minutes 12 seconds, but in that time it reached an SL of 10.44, nearly two more sampling levels than the production engine, which would have taken the production engine another 5 minutes. So we're already using half the time to reach the same SL. And the benchmark for the draft image was 899.55, again showing that it's nearly double the production engine. In other words, this is showing that the draft render engine was rendering the scene almost twice as fast as the production engine. And the reason for this is how the draft engine works. In a nutshell, it is exactly the same as the production engine, but it leaves out the more complicated calculations until much later on. So with simple scenes, it will actually be faster, but it should get the same end result. Now you can judge for yourself looking at the comparison of whether you prefer the production image to the draft image, but personally I do think that there is less noise in the draft image, and if there's not actually less noise, then it's at least a finer grain. Now which is the one to use will always depend on the user's opinion, as well as the individual image and project itself. But the important thing to remember is, if you need an image nice and quickly, you can use the Fire Draft Render Engine inside Maxwell Render itself. How do you actually activate the Draft Render Engine? Well I'll show you. Here I am in Maxwell Studio, and if you like this layout you should check out my first Maxwell Render hot tip, which was Massive Fire Layout. But this is how to activate the draft quality render engine. It's over in render options and under the scene tab, go to quality and change it from production to draft. And that's all you have to do. Thanks very much for watching today. Any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below or email me maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com or tweet me jcolman underscore design. And remember to subscribe for more Maxwell Render hot tips. Thanks very much. I'll see you again soon.